How to make a pinch pot. Start with a small clump of clay. Knead the clay with your hands to soften it up and to get out any air pockets. You can roll it on the table to smooth out the clay. Use your thumb and fingers to smooth out cracks as you're rolling the clay. Roll it between your hands to soften it up even more. Repeat this process. When you have a nice smooth ball of clay, use your tool to poke a hole in the center. Don't poke all the way through. Start turning the tool to make the hole larger, then use the tool to carve the hole even larger. Some clay will probably come out as you do this. When the hole is big enough, you can put a thumb inside. Squeeze the clay between your thumb and fingers and turn it over and over. Don't stop turning. When the hole is large enough, you can put two thumbs inside. Continue to squeeze and turn the clay. When it's even bigger, you can use two fingers from both hands and the palm of your hand to squeeze the clay. Add more fingers as the hole gets bigger. Keep turning. Check the width of your pinch pot with your pinky. It should be no thicker than your pinky. Smooth cracks as you go. You can even use the inside of your fingers to spin the pot around and around to smooth out the inside and making it thinner on the inside. The inside should also be no larger than your pinky. Keep turning. You can flip it over and gently drop it to flatten the top out a bit. Keep checking the width with your pinky. When you're satisfied with the size and shape of your pinch pot, you can start smoothing it out with a little bit of water. Don't use too much water. Smooth out as many cracks as possible. You can use your carving tool to flatten out the top. And you can also flatten out the bottom. When your pinch pot is nice and smooth, you can use a carving tool to add designs. Be as creative as you wish during this part of the lesson.
When you're finished, don't forget to put your initials on the bottom. You want to make sure you get the right pinch pot back when it comes out of the kiln. Add designs on the inside as well. You can leave your pinch pot as a circle shape or you can change the shape by pressing and pinching in different parts of the, of the clay. This one is a heart shaped. If you have time, you can do that now or leave it as a circle. Add more designs if you wish. You can even write words on the outside or inside of your pinch pot. And don't forget to have fun.